What's up guys, I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. We're dealing with a non-Michigan beer, a brewery from Nashville, Tennessee, guys. It's gonna be Southern Grist Brewing Co. This is the Southern Crisp. Uh, yeah, this is my first go at Southern Grist. This is distributed uh, by M4 in Michigan, guys. So for those of you that are in the beverage game or, or you know a little bit about distribution in Michigan, that's going to be M4, okay? So this is a Pilsner-style lager. Uh, again, Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee, excuse me. And this is an unfiltered Pilsner, delicately hopped with Nelson Sauvin hops guys so nelson sava when i think of that i think of like ipas and like uh hazy new england styles dippas guys like these big old haze bombs i don't know that i've had a pilsner with nelson sava i guess i can't clarify yes or no uh but i wouldn't think so i think that this is something different here going on uh so canon 428 kind of old but it's a pilsner it shouldn't be that big of a deal but we're using some uh, specific hop qualities in here guys so let's dive in see what we're working with at our first go at southern grist kind of excited to try this one i don't know why pilsners get me going these days it kind of you know i get the feeling of like back in like 2017 when i'm like yeah i'm getting a hazy no i just want a crispy boy and we're getting a southern crispy boy today let's try this one out uh i the price on this one i i, I honestly don't remember guys mm, i want to say like uh, $11.99 for a four pack? I, I just, I can't clarify that 100%. Uh, so as we pour, not a deep golden yellow or not like a dark orange. We're getting this nice lighter straw yellow. Uh, a little off-putting, a little bit of haze there, a little unfiltered. Uh, looks very champagne-y in the glass. Like there's a lot of carbonation stream into the top. I'm repping a home glass today, guys. I don't know if that's not appropriate because you know what it's it's not hazy it's not a sour but you know what i'm repping a home's pint glass so let's go after it again a lot of carbonation more than i've seen in a long time got some floaty some particulate going on in there it's unfiltered okay got some haze uh, a nice bright white fluffy foamy um just a a nice pillowy head sitting on top it looks really nice it looks like a pilsner though it looks like a pilsner um a little bit more unfiltered maybe than normal but um, it's ballpark where it should be, so let's go into an aroma on this Pilsner, guys. Yeah. It's, wow. What is that? Very, like, carby. Very starchy and, and, and corn. Like, I, I think of, like, corn and, and grits, and, and it, I don't know what's going on here. That is, like, super weird. Like, I don't even, I don't know if I've smelled anything like that before, besides thinking, like, corn and starch and... Um, I don't even know, like some kind of cereal in here. No, corn. Corn's the first thing that comes to mind, honestly. Maybe soft floral underneath, a little bit of grassiness. Yeah, that's 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 what I'm getting, guys. Let's let's not hover around this one. Let's dive in. It's the Southern Crisp. Let's check this thing out. Cheers. Whoa. Taste follows. It is like corn and starch and, and like bread just comes to mind. I don't know why that is. It's it's very, very like bready, very, very just like uncooked corn. Like you're shucking a, a, a corn cob and, and you just inhale that smell or smell and sniff it. That's exactly what I'm getting with like a hint of grassiness um, and a, more grassiness than floral, but grassy and then small, subtle floral underneath the grass. That's very strange I don't think it's like hot bite to it it's it's pretty smooth but it is it's a little bit more intense than maybe like a normal pilsner a little bit more hop quality um a little bit more grass a little bit more uh corn just starchy corn man that's what I smell that's what I taste um I it's crispy it, it's just I don't know if I love the front end as much as I wanted to like I feel like I'd have to adjust to this. Let me get a couple more sips in. I love the middle and back end. The middle and back end reminds me of a normal Pilsner. Um, and it is. It's got more of like this hot punch, a little bit more of like this, like maybe like white grape um, grass, white grape grassiness underneath. And with that kiss of floral on the back end, very, very dry, crispy on the back end. Name's fitting. I love Southern Grist. I think that's awesome. Um, 
I think the Southern Crisp is a great name. I just, it, it's an overall very crispy beer, uh, but a lot of corn and starchiness on the front end. It's um, not typically like a, 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 a flavor or um, taste that I'm acquired to. Yeah, corn is just sticking to my mind. So I think it's a little bit more corny than I like. Um, but the middle and back end, I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. I think it's a good, um, unique flip to the style, I think, a little bit. It, there, there are some traditional qualities to this. And then I think there's it's it's their own little twist with this Nelson Sauve, and I don't know that I'm really absorbing or absorbing the Nelson Sauve. I mean, that little, like, grapey thing underneath. It's very subtle and can't almost can't even see it, really, or feel it. Um, but again, the corn starchiness on the front end really sticking out on this one, guys. Uh, I like it. I just think it's a little bit more corn and starch than I like uh, in my beer. So it's just, it, that's the first thing that's coming to mind every time I'm sipping this. Um, and I'm getting kind of hung up on it. But I could put this down. I could put this down at 4.4%. Four um, yeah, I still like it. Um, I'm going to go... Three, seven out of five. I think that that's like very good for a Pilsner. I think that's something that's um, rated pretty high. I mean, if you like Pilsners, you'd probably like this one, but it's got that weird little twist on it on the front end that I'm, I don't, I don't dislike it. It just, it's, it's throwing me off a little bit, guys. So yeah, three, seven out of five. It's been the Southern Crisp from Southern Grist Brewing Company. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee, guys, thank you so much for being here. It's another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. Over and out. Cheers.